Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the generic PNP monitor appearing as the drop down option when selecting choose the display. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I recommend doing here would be to go ahead and check for Windows updates. So go ahead and open up the start menu, type in updates, best result should come back for check for updates. Go ahead and open that up. And go ahead and then select the check for updates button if there are any updates available. Another thing you can try would be to close out of here and open up the start menu. Type in device manager. Best results should come back with device manager listed right above control panel. Go ahead and left click on it to open it up. And you want to expand the display adapter section here. So just go ahead and double click on it. Right click on your display adapter listed under here and select update driver. So underneath how do you want to search for drivers, select search automatically for drivers. Windows will search your computer for the best available driver. Install it on your device. Go ahead and select that. And you can also search for updated drives on Windows Update as well. So again, pretty straightforward process there guys. And you can also go on the manufacturer's website of your monitor and see if there are any available automatic driver download tools for it in which case it should be able to download and install the drivers pretty automatically for you. So this should be a pretty straightforward process guys. One other thing we can try here, open up the start menu, select the gear icon and then select settings. You can search for it till you want to select the display tile. You want to select the system tile. Select display on the left side if it doesn't automatically take you there underneath multiple displays and select advanced display settings. You might want to consider just clicking the drop down arrow here and see if there are other displays listed. So you might be confused and you think there's only one display, but if you click the drop down, there might be other ones you can select. So pretty straightforward process here, guys. I do hope that I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.